Hi, name is Jason. This is my family, and we love to travel to the beach, or the lake, in the forest, on the coast, to the mountains, and even deep underground. I hope you come along as we travel all around our home state of California, the greater United States, and beyond. We invite you to come join us as we go exploring. After our morning hike to Delicate Arch, we then headed down to Canyonlands National Park. Now Canyonlands is a giant park with three different districts and over 337,000 acres of land. In fact, it is the largest national park in Utah. We only had time to check out one small lookout in the Island in the Sky District, but it was said to be an amazing place to see. And by the afternoon when we were headed into the park, the skies decided to treat us to some stormy clouds. Lookout point that we went to was the Grand Lookout at the southern edge of the Island in the Sky Mesa. The Grand Lookout is appropriately named, as from this vantage point you can see all the way across the park to the farthest Needles District and the Maze District. You can even see clear across past the park to the Abajo Mountains, nearly 50 miles away, and almost to the border of Colorado. It amazes me that places like the Grand Canyon and Horseshoe Bend are so popular and full of people. And then a place like this that's so amazing to see. There's just a handful of people there. Well, the clouds really started to look ugly. And we even got a little bit of rain. So we headed out, but before we left, we stopped in at the visitor center to get Jack-Jack another pin for his lanyard. The rain continued to try and fall as we headed back towards Moab, giving us a little bit of sprinkling here and there. And by the time we got into town, it was pretty wet. Coming down to Moab to get some dinner. And it's gotten a little crazy. The uh, rain and wind that we ran into up on the top of the mesa has come down here into Moab. So it's kind of sprinkly. I mean, it's not really raining. It's just sprinkly. 
frankly, but it's windy and dark and dark clouds. And windy and stormy. It feels like a thunderstorm. We might get some thunderstorms tonight. Moab is a really neat little town. Even here on this, on the outskirts, on this side street, there was this cool kinetic sculpture just on the corner, waving in the wind. It was really neat. The whole town kind of reminds me of a house, except a lot more accessible. It's not so hoity-toity. There's not as many art galleries, and there's more cute little stores full of kitschy, touristy stuff. come downtown because we were on a mission to find some place to eat. We settled on this place called the Peace Tree. And because it had stopped raining, we decided to eat outside. But the inside was nice too, and I would have been perfectly happy if we ended up eating in there. We had a great variety of food, and our meal was especially good. Good stuff. Good stuff. I would recommend the peace tree if you're ever in Moab. After our meal, we did a little shopping at some of the stores where we picked up some t-shirts and stuff like that. And then we went to this ice cream place that was on the corner where we sat outside and enjoyed the view of uh, downtown Moab. Jack-Jack got a lollipop, and Kira got a giant cup of mint chip ice cream. It had been a long day, and we finished up by relaxing at the pool at the RV park again, so we could get ready for our next outing. Be sure to subscribe so you can see our next video, and thanks for watching. See you next time.